Hey guys, it's Atomic, and back here with another Lollipop video, and today I'll be making a video on the update, the version 3 of one of the Lollipops that we featured on the channel, and it's called Silverbot. So if you guys watched that video already, um, you already know what the spot is, but essentially what the spot does, it's an unbranded bot which lets you actually troll people, and they'll actually think that um, the bot is real, unlike a lot of the other Lollipops that are out there. So with this bot, um, you can get a custom name on it, you can change the name of it to whatever name that you want, and you can also have to choose to have no status, or you can add a status if you want, and it'll also have no join message, so your chat will not be flooded with ads the second that the bot joins you. So that's why this is a really cool bot, and the new update that um, Minty created for the bot um, includes different features like having it on 24-7 so that you never have to actually restart it. And you can also not have to put in the authentication code, so you're never going to have to log into the bot's account. And before I show you guys how to do that, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. It really actually helps out the channel a lot. And make sure to leave a like so we can try to beat the YouTube algorithm and get more people to see this video. So let's try to get 250 likes on this video. So to get the bot, you're going to first have to join their Discord server. I'll put the link into the description. And if you also want to join the Discord server, if you're already in our Discord server, you just have to go down to here and click on Silver Help. And then you can just scroll up and click on the Silver Bot link and you can join their server. So there's two different ways to join it. Um, I'll also have the link in the description, of course. So the first step is to go to this link right over here. And if you go into the create a bot section, so this link will just send you to a ripple.it link and this is where you'll be starting up your bot. So you're not going to need a PC or anything for this because of this link. You can do this on mobile or anything and you do not need to have Fortnite um, on a PC. Um, for this to work, you can use it on Switch, you can use it on mobile, you can use it on Xbox, PlayStation, and you can also use it on PC. So it'll work on all devices that support Fortnite as of right now. So once you get on over to this page, you're just going to go on over here and you're going to log into rebel.it. So once you've logged on into rebel.it, it'll do this. It's basically just cloning the GitHub and you'll be able to run it within this website. So once it's finished, it'll just appear over here. All right, so it is up right now. So after you've done this, you're going to want to go down to the settings. And then right on over here, you're going to be typing in the email for your account within the quotation marks. And you're also going to type in the password for this account. And once again, make sure that the account is not your actual account because this will really mess up if you use your main account on here. So make sure you have an alt epic account and not be using your main account on this. So you can also change up the prefix and a bunch of other stuff, but I'm first going to put in the email and my password for my epic account. So I've just put in the email and the password for my account. And again, this is an epic this is an alt epic account, so it's not my main account. Make sure you do not use your main account. So once you've done that, you can just change up all the stuff. I'm just going to leave the prefix as default. I'm just going to leave everything as default. But if you really want to, um, make sure you can You can always just change the different things that it spawns as. So the skin will be what it spawns as when it comes in your party. Same thing with backpack, pickaxe, and emote. In the platform, you can also just leave that. But if you want to change it, um, you can look up the different platforms that you want to use. And then over here, you can change if you wanted to join your party when it is invited. So if you wanted to do that, you can change it to true. Otherwise, you can just leave it as false. So and then this one's going to be accepting all friend requests. So if you don't want people, if you're using this thing for trolling, you don't want people to invite it as a friend um, or you don't want people to start friending your bot and inviting it and just messing up your troll, you can just leave this one on false. So for me, I'm just going to leave it on true because I want this to be a bot for all of you guys to use um, because I will not be using this bot. It's for you guys. So I forgot to add this in the middle, but if you want it to be a private bot, you're going to have to put your name into here, but it's not just going to be your Fortnite name. You're going to go back into here, you're going to go to bot commands, and then you're going to do slash account and then your account name. So like this for my name, and then it will return your account ID. So you're just going to copy what's inside of here. And then you can just paste it into your account name right on over here. And then your bot will start running. And then once you finish all of that stuff, um, you can just press on run. And I'm also going to make this one a public bot. So once you've done this, it should work. So we're just going to click on run. And then um, this is just going to take a little bit to install all the packages and all of the different things it needs to install for Python. 
And once it's installed those packages, you will be able to use the bot. So this process should take about five minutes, three to five minutes, depending on your internet speed. So once you finish with that, it should show you this message down here and it'll say that you need an authentication code for your bot. And this is basically so that I can log into your bot and mod it with all these skins and everything. So make sure you have the alt account that is being used for this. Do not be using your main account. So the way to check that is go to your browser and then make sure on Epic Games, you're logged into your alt account and not your main account. So once you check that, you can click on the auth code right on over here. And then once you've done this, you're gonna go and it should look like this, this exact message right over here. So you're just gonna go on over here and you're gonna copy everything that's after the code equals sign. You should copy that. And then once you've copied that, you're just gonna go down over here and paste it in. So you have to right click, click on paste. And then once you finish that, you just wanna click on the enter button and it will do this. So then once this is done, you will be 100% done with this. And then once you've done that, you're just gonna go on over here and you are going to be copy the link. So you're just gonna copy this link up here. And then you're gonna go back into the Discord server and right on over here in the host your bot area, you're gonna do slash URL and then you're gonna paste it in. And then once you've done that, it'll be hosted. So now once you've done this, you can X out of it or you can leave it open. It's 100% your choice. And if you X out of it, it'll still be on because you're hosting it in the Discord server. So once you've done this, it will be set up and you can just head on into Fortnite and you can add the bot. So I'm gonna go right on over here. And we're gonna do XLGB test. And I've used this bot before, so it should already be in my friends. There it is. XLGB test, so we're just going to invite it to our party and it'll instantly join our party. So now it's time for all the commands. So, what you're going to do is click on the bot and you're going to click on manage and then you click on whisper. And then, once you've done that, you can start doing all your commands for the bot. So, of course, the first commands that we always do are skin. And then, once you do skin, you can type in any skin that you want. So, I'm just going to type in Renegade Raider and then it'll change that skin. And then you can also do a couple more commands. So we're gonna do emote, we're gonna do floss, and then the bot will do the emote floss. All right, so now that's doing the floss, I'm gonna show you guys how to get the commands for the bot so you can see all the other commands that it has. So if you do exclamation point help, this will give you every single command that the bot has. So it's gonna be over here, it's gonna say, so the first one is hello, so we're gonna use that one. And that's all it's gonna do is just type in the chat, it's just gonna say hello, and that's pretty much all it does. Um, so that's going to make the bot just say whatever you want and can try to troll people. The so next one you can do is you can say ready and that will make the bot look like it's ready. So you can see it just changed to ready. Um, but you cannot play games with this. It's just for um, cosmetics. So it'll just say that's ready. It will not actually be readied. Um, and then you can do unready to undo that. And then I already showed you guys the emote over here. And then new. So we're going to do new. This is another really interesting command. So all that does is it sets your bot to a new command and it'll just tell you, yeah, there you go. So it's just gonna set up your bot to a random emote or skin and it'll show you all the leaked skins that there are currently in Fortnite. So according to this, there are 11 new skins and emotes. So it's just gonna cycle through all of them until you stop this command. And then if you wanna just stop, you can just do the skin command. So we're gonna say skin renegade raider and then it'll go back. So then after you do that, it's still gonna do all the emotes. So after you do that, um, you can do a few other things. So there's the pet command. So I don't know any of the pets right now in Fortnite. And we can do that. So we're just do pet mirrors and it'll change the pet that's on your back. All right, so the next ones you can do sit out and that'll make the bot sit out. So it'll look like this, and then you just do sit in to sit in again. And then you can also do a few other things. So I'm first just gonna show the pickaxe um, command. So we're gonna do pickaxe, and then we can do like, I don't know any pickaxe names, but we can do 
Um, let me see what pickaxes I have. So I have the Dragon's Claw, so we can try that one. And it'll have the Dragon's Claw, but you won't be able to see it unless you do that pickaxe emote that shows your pickaxe. Then you can do tier, and you can do like tier three, and that'll just change the battle pass tier. It doesn't really do that much. And then you can do level, which will also change the level to whatever level you want. So that'll be level 99. We'll make it level 99. And then you can just see it's level 99. All right, guys, so that was the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and hopefully you guys make your own lobby bots that you can use and troll people with. And make sure to show some support by joining the Silverbot Discord server. And you can, of course, ask questions in there as well. And you can also ask questions in our own server um, if you want to join that as well. So hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see you in the next one.